YouTube, Patricia, and I thank you for checking out uh, this video. Um, please do subscribe, like it, share it if you find the information useful. We're going to do a workout in just a second, but first I want to talk to you a little bit about your mindset with exercise. Um, I know for myself, if I don't schedule it and have goals, I am less likely to get that accomplished. So I think that's a really, really big strategy to do is say you have an event in five weeks, seven weeks, ten weeks, whatever it is, all right? Pick a date where you want to have something accomplished by. Say you want to lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks, right? That's a pretty uh, pretty doable goal. You only have to lose a pound a week. Um, shouldn't be too terribly difficult to do that if you stay the course over those 10 weeks and follow your plan. And that way you have a little bit of time to adjust because, you know, if one week you don't lose it, you might be able to lose two the next week and that kind of thing. So pick 10 weeks out and 10 pounds you want to lose write on your calendar, come up with a strategy, when you're going to work out throughout your day, how often um, you're going to do your workout, and hopefully most days, <laughs> right, a little something, and, you know, what kind of diet strategy you're going to follow. And then, you know, journal it every day. Write in your journal, write your goals down, stay on track of it, keep it mindful, because it's really easy to come up with an idea, but then kind of forget about it and let time go by. You have to remind yourself daily, I think. All right, so you try that. Let me know how it works. Leave me a comment below. Let's do this workout right now. Excellent. Keep it going. Punch. And four, three, two, one. Let's bring it back to a kickback. We'll work those hamstrings, work on warming them up as well. Good. We'll take it to a little bicep curl. No weights yet. We'll get to the weights later. Just getting the body warmed up now. Ready for exercise. Getting blood flow to all your big muscles. Good. Nice. Let's take it to eight arms together, elbows towards each other for a little chest warm up here. I love that move. It feels good to me. Feels like a good stretch. Excellent. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's go side to side with those legs. Warm up the hips. Reaching up out of the rib cage. Reaching side to side. Good. Nice. Let's turn the arms in and out. In and out. Good. Warming up those arms. There you go. Check your posture. Chest is out. Shoulders back and down. There you go. Good. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Shake it out. Good. All right. We're going to go to a bow and arrow. So reach and row. There you go. Warm up the upper back postural muscles now. And getting a little cardio, obviously. Good. Important. Make sure everything's warmed up. Burn some calories. Good. Five more times like this. Here's five, four, row it out there. Three, two, one. Other side now. Reach and row. Good. Like you're pulling open a bow and arrow. Good. Like your Robin Hood or Hawkeye nowadays with Avengers. <laughs> yes. I like that movie too. It's fun, right? Good. Nice. Seven. Here's six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. March it out. Now anytime you think it's too difficult, you can always come to marching in place. So that you keep moving and keep some blood flowing, keep your warm up going, keep your calorie burn going. All right, but that's the thing to come back to if things get a little too difficult. Now we're gonna go to the floor with so push ups. If you can't do a floor push up, you can do a wall. Just make sure that you stay nice and flat and level here as you come in, breathe out, and push away rather than sinking in or pushing your butt away. Stay nice and tight and straight like that. Otherwise, come to the floor. Excellent. Now you can do a full military push-up or you can do a knee push-up. I'll show the knee. Okay. So I have the mat here for my knees. You might want one too. So for a knee push-up, what you want to do is hinge for it from the waistline like so. So you have more body weight over your hands as you come down. Breathe out, push away. Good. We're doing 12. Feel strong. Feel good. 
nice halfway there nice here's five four three two one there you go nice oh i feel that excellent i forgot to move my chair so i'm going to move it across make it a little bit easier for when we do flies here okay so you need some dumbbells to hold for your flies whatever is appropriate for you give yourself a little room and use the mat for your head now so that you can lean back like so and you're going to hold those dumbbells now you want to use the dumbbells in your arm is one lever so you're in this kind of motion right it's not about bending the arm and punching it's about a long extension of hugging a tree so let's give that a try with the dumbbell hold those dumbbells around chest height a little bit in the elbow as you come down to the floor and then pull it back in so i gotta scoot down because i'm hitting my punching bag there we go good pull it over and that's when you breathe out you exhale on the pullover we're pulling the arms over good not to be confused with a pullover which is a different exercise completely nice good four more times here's four three two one very good all right take one dumbbell or both now you can hold it like this if you like or you can hold both dumbbells and hold it like this so it's up to you come down to chest and then press it up good nice and strong here working the chest still and the arms those triceps Woo. feeling it good four three two one there we go good take a little break from that let's go to a set of abs here so we can rest the upper body a little bit before we go back to it so bring those legs up and hands by the ears come up and down breathe out towards the ceiling chin goes towards the ceiling you're breathing out good nice you're not grabbing your neck good now if you prefer you have your hands here breathe out as you reach up good nice five four three two and one there you go nice let's go back to those push-ups we got another set another round of all this good job here's my kitty tiger i don't know if you can see him is he in the frame nope he's right outside the frame all right so you go back to those push-ups if you want to do full military you can wall if you need to otherwise come down for the knee ones and hinge forward from the waistline there we go and then come down breathe out and push away now as far as you go it's up to you if you can't go away to the floor if you can't go very far at all as long as you're bending those arms and getting some movement you're doing it right good nice three two one and done that burns a little all right let's go back to those flies you're doing great working hard working strong you can do this bring those weights back back on the mat for your head and hug that tree remember a little bend in the arm come down and pull it in good i don't want to hit my cat he's kind of over there there we go good he's a silly kitty good pull it in you're strong you could do this you're doing great excellent don't forget to breathe out as you pull it together good nice Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now remember, you can do this with one dumbbell. We're going to do that press with the both dumbbells like I did before. If you want to use one, you can use one. But press it up there. Press it up there. Good. There you go. Nice. You got it. Woo! Working hard. Excellent feeling strong feeling powerful you can do this four three two and one oh it's starting to hurt good job all right let's go to an ab this time we're going to take it to a little crunch from up position have that mat for your booty all right 
come down and then up, right? So as far back you go is up to you, but some people go back too far and they fall way down and can't get up. So you do what works for you. There you go. Nice. You got it. You're strong. You could do this. Stay with me. Even if you're just marching in place, you got five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. You got it.